Uh, hello, everyone. Um, so this project is uh, implemented by uh, the uh, group of Palestinian uh, universities uh, and, of course, funded by the Norwegian uh, project. Yumina as a premium Moodle partner. Uh, our involvement is as facilitator of Moodle Educator certification. And uh, we are very proud to be part of this project. So um, I will immediately leave the floor to Dr. Tamimi, who is uh, leading this project from the uh, client side to introduce the project. And I will jump later when it comes to how we implemented MEC. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Najjar. Thank you very much. Um, and thanks for uh, the introduction. And um, I'm, uh, I'm just go directly to, to the project. It's, uh, as you guys said, the six year project through NORAD, uh, Norwegian uh, agency. And it's a partnership with Palestine and Norway. And when I say Palestine, it's actually West Bank and Gaza. So we have the main partner from uh, Gaza and, and, and West Bank. Uh, the expected or the outcomes of this project have been so far, uh, we managed to do a needs assessment uh, report about e-learning in Palestine to understand what's happening in Palestine. We're in the process of developing policies with stakeholders, with ministries and universities in e-learning so we know how to handle e-learning in, in Palestine. We do not have a concrete, clear standards and, and, and policies. Uh, we're holding a conference next year and we're supposed to have another one uh, the following year for, for, the, for the project. We're now in the fourth year of the project. Uh, research work, we're expected to pro publish at least eight papers. We uh, have published one already, and we, are, have, we have two in the, in the tunnel getting uh, to be ready by the end of this year. <clears throat> we sent three students to, their, to do their PhD in learning in different countries, in Norway, in the UK, and in Finland. And uh, we're under accreditation for a project, uh, uh, an MA pro program in instructional and design technology. And we're also, we have established a Center for uh, Research and Development in E-Learning uh, at PPU in Palestine, uh, in my hometown, Hebron. And, you know, the focus of this presentation about, is about the capacity building program uh, using Moodle uh, certification and uh, Moodle training that we conducted. Um, but focusing on this part, uh, with the partners that we have, uh, we have universities, we have uh, Palestinian education institutions, the ministries and private sector. So we basically worked on developing the capacity of uh, teachers and students and uh, other stakeholders uh, to integrate and uh, use technology in teaching and learning. That's basically the idea. And then we managed to have a contract with Ayumina as a Moodle uh, partner uh, to uh, give uh, uh, MIC uh, Moodle education their certification uh, uh, to a good number of uh, staff at uh, Palestinian universities. So the certification, we had 11 universities in West Bank and Gaza. We also had 68 participants, staff, teachers uh, from the, you know, all the, all the universities. Uh, they come from different disciplines. So it's not only a specific area, it's all kinds of areas from engineering to science, to languages, to humanities, etc. Um, and we provided them, in addition to me, we provided them with different trainings about design, course design and syllabus and, and uh, integrating technology, etc. And then we came to the uh, uh, developing of or doing the certification. Along with that uh, work, we did uh, what we call the redesigning of courses for the teachers using Moodle, using the certification and developing their courses afterwards. Um, Dr. Najjar, please. Thank you. Um, let me ask one question. Who is familiar with MEC or has MEC? Amazing. So MEC is really for instructional designers, for teachers and educators. So um, what we have done here in this project, we just used MEC and enhanced it with some components. So we did this change or intervention just for this case. So for, for the case we had, which is uh, having a large group of MEC, it's not easy to have 68, you know, MEC uh, uh, facilitation, uh, facilitated members at, at once. So we 
as you can see, it's Moodle, the yellow, everything. Uh, so we had the assessment at the very beginning, and then we had every course of, of MEC being followed by the participants. And just at, at, at three stages, we had like two hours coaching and feedback with them for the purpose of motivation, because normally MEC, as you would know, it's self-paced. So here we did some intervention. And uh, at the three stages, so every two course we stop, we discuss how it went and what's coming and how, how they did progress. And uh, at the very end, also we had a session to keep the motivation because not everybody was able to, uh, you know, to be on the same pace. So that was really the, uh, the quick um, uh, view of, of how it was implemented. So um, back to you, Dr. Tamimi. Okay, thank you, thank you. Um, and I know don't have, we don't have a lot of time, but just uh, the impact of using uh, the mix certification was really tremendous. I mean, uh, we had an actual digital transformation because of the need as well as that kind of training that we received. So we now have a vice president for the university in digital transformation. Uh, we adopted, um, uh, uh, we have a new a new unit for uh, AI, as well as uh, course transformation. So we have all courses at my university are using Moodle right now, and there are other universities that are using the same. Uh, we use alternative assessment, and I don't want to go into details, and I'm sure you are aware of these issues, and research. And we are working with uh, uh, MEC uh, certified uh you know, teachers in order to develop research, action research, experimental re research, and to use them as participants in the research as well. Uh, we published one paper, as I said, and we're working on, on other words. The work on uh, MEC and, you know, in technology in has was very difficult. So um, one major issue was the war uh, on uh, Gaza and war on Palestine. Uh, it was very hard. Unfortunately, all universities, including our main partner, University College of Applied Sciences, was completely destroyed. And unfortunately, two of our uh, trainees uh, were killed uh, by Israelis in, 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 uh, in the war in Palestine. And that, on, uh, that was very, uh, very hard. So everything, all the labs or the university, the building and everything was really completely destroyed. Another big challenge was, as the Dr. Najjar said, is uh, self-paced because this course is self-paced. It was very, not very easy for people uh, to accommodate something like that and to have kind of motivation. So motivation was an issue. So we had to, as Dr. Najjar said, we had to, to do some intervention and train them on different areas. And I think it worked uh, well uh, at the end. Uh, also in MEC, you need to have some kind of experience, uh, previous experience. So that was... Some of them did not have the needed one, but that was also another challenge. Uh, you know, some plugins, but we managed to solve them. And then, you know, the, the big challenge is to move theory into practice. After you finish the training, you need to go to the actual uh, development and teaching the course. We have With only that two, three minutes, Doctor. Uh, I need two. I'm fine. Okay. I'm not, uh, yeah, one or two minutes. With those challenges, we managed to record a successful story. I think the training that we did, in addition to other aspects, have helped us to, uh, you know, with the coaches, having coach and then the training and the interventions have helped us to, uh, to go through this process. We also <clears throat> successfully transformed courses uh, using Moodle. Uh, we also managed to have those people who received that certification to help other teachers in teaching and learning and assessment and using uh, different, you know, digital tools, etc., and that was also uh, very successful. Um, uh, <clears throat> PPU lead partner transformed a good number. So we basically, as a PPU or my university is the lead for the project, we managed to transfer many, many, many courses in a very good way. Uh, and and other universities has also worked on this. I I just want to finish this part and say that uh, we realized that. Uh, using Moodle, it was not an option for us. It was a necessity. It was needed. That's why we insisted to develop our skills as university and other Palestinian universities and to, to record a successful story. Uh, Dr. Najjar. 
Yeah, I think uh, I don't want to go uh, because to, to leave some uh, room for questions. But as you can see, Moodle uh, really facilitation helped a lot uh, in this journey. And uh, we have now ambassadors. Uh, I mean, the, the partner universities, they have the ambassadors to help their colleagues. And um, yeah, maybe time for questions just to give the time. You mentioned that you modified the Moodle Educator Certification Program, Mac. Um, did you add anything in particular that was that you can share with us? Uh, I said I added some interventions. Look, Anna is here. I cannot say a lot. Huh? So, but uh, yes, uh, we we didn't change it. We didn't adapt. Uh, we did some interventions. So the orange we kept the orange line. So we added at each step uh, two hours, kind of face-to-face -face online, of course, meetings with the facilitator from our company who is, who is you know, authorized to give some, uh, this kind of coaching. Normally, it's self-paced, 100%. Only Anna at the end, but for us, we added the facilitation live. And then, of course, Anna and our facilitator, they were working together a lot uh to to help the so it's it's really after if it's every second course they will have a kind of session uh, live to to get the feedback hi uh thank you for the presentations um before well in, you you mentioned that it's it has been transformed to Moodle. I'm just curious, before that, was it uh, other types of digital systems or was it on paper? What okay. was it before? This is Tamimi, I think, if you go. Can, can, can you repeat the question? I did not hear it very well, sorry. Uh, yeah, go before tra just transforming to Moodle, what, what were you using before? What like, you were using uh, before Moodle? Yeah, well, basically a lot of teachers were using uh, Google Classroom. And in my, my understanding, and I'm, I'm, I'm specialized in instructional technology, Google Classroom is just a, a course management system, while Moodle for us was a learning management system. That's why we train people. You know, the training that Dr. Najjar talked about, we also give them other trainings before make to, to, to accommodate uh, their needs. And I think it worked out very well. And now this semester, actually, we moved everybody to Moodle with this kind of special training in addition to make. And I also have to say that uh, there are still other uh, teachers who are still taking MEC. They have not finished. But the idea is that everybody is in the, in the, in the, in the tube and they're, they're doing that work. It's finito. <laughs> I'm done. Thanks all. Thanks, Dr. Tamimi. Thanks all. Thank you.